For the past seven months, Martin Schulz has been running to be the next chancellor. On Sunday night, he came face to face with the current one. Over 90 minutes of debate, he went on the offensive against Angela Merkel and her actions as chancellor. Attacking her policy on refugees, he said her decision to allow in so many people in 2015 had been too unilateral. Mrs. Merkel said two weeks ago, I believe, or last Sunday in an interview with the newspaper, that she would repeat exactly everything she did in 2015. And I cannot agree with that, because we made a mistake in not bringing our European neighbours in earlier, but rather later, presenting things to them as a fait accompli. Angela Merkel defended her decisions, saying her motivation was humanitarian and that she had quickly realised the best solution was at the European level. What had we done? I am familiar with these scenarios that were being discussed at the end of 2015. Honestly, using water cannon against thousands of people, is that the way you think things can be solved? I don't think so. We have a 3,000 kilometre border, and so we had to address the causes of migration. Of course we have to have controls. We introduced border checks, but to leave Austria or other countries to deal with it alone. Therefore, we had the EU-Turkey agreement. I got a lot of criticism for it when it was finally finished, and I still consider it absolutely right. Another main area of debate was Turkey and its relationship with Germany and the EU. Currently, 12 German citizens are being held in Turkish custody on political grounds. Mr. Schultz said this was intolerable, and if he were Chancellor, he'd break off talks with the Turks over joining the EU. Angela Merkel agreed the human rights situation in Turkey was deteriorating, but said unilaterally breaking off accession talks with the Turks was impossible. Much of the rest of the debate centred on domestic policy. Schulz said Merkel's government had made mistakes regarding the violent attacks on Germany in recent years. Merkel agreed, but said lessons had been learned. As the debate ended, opinion polls suggested viewers thought that although Schulz had been more aggressive, they thought Merkel had been more competent and more persuasive. And this is the political prize awaiting one of the candidates, the chancellery, which has been Angela Merkel's for the past 12 years. So the questions for Germany's voters after viewing this debate are pretty clear. Do they think that Angela Merkel has done enough to warrant four more years in this building? Or do they think that Martin Schulz is now the person to take Germany forwards? We'll know their answer in a few weeks' time. Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera, Berlin.